hello to my viewers welcome everyone i hope you all have a productive day it's me again nails by chance 876 and i'm doing a tutorial on filling and drawing 3d flowers so before i get into that as you can see i've already acrylic one hand which was recorded off camera so let's start on the other hand first thing first i'm gonna take down the length that she has because she wanted them a little bit shorter and then then i'm gonna go ahead and take down the old gel polish that she had on this set was about two weeks old not a lot of growth but still needs filling i'm using a car by dip to take down the gel polish and also to remove some of that old acrylic that is on it uh, this bit is very powerful and should not be used on your natural nail very powerful should not be used on a natural nail should only be used on acrylic if you're a new nail tech you under you will understand that doing a refill takes the same amount of time as doing a full set only if you're a nail tech you will understand so next thing I'm, I'm gonna go in, in with my cone bit to lift up the cuticle and uh, follow that I'm gonna go in with my with my sanding band to remove any shine from the old from the old nail from the nail bed itself and remove any dead cuticles as well after I did that, I'm gonna be using my hand file to flush the old acrylic to the nail bed and also my nipper to remove the dead cuticles. If you haven't subscribed as yet, guys, I'm asking you please give me a subscription. I'm asking you please to share it with your families and friends so this page can grow. Please, I am asking you leave a thumbs up and also please leave a comment so as we go along i'll be coming in and out with my voice on this voiceover so just trust the process and enjoy the rest of the video as we go along So before guys, I was using my hand file to flush in the whole acrylic to the natural nail. So now I am going with my carbide bit to measure the length so that each fingers are the same length. After I've done that, I'm going to apply my primer and start the acrylic process. In order for my nails not to lift, guys, I have to nip away all the dead cuticles, the old cuticles that is there, and prep the nail properly. So now I am applying my acrylic powder. For this one, I won't be adding any um, polish to this set, just some 3D flowers. So here I am, I'm using a two bead method. This brush that I'm using is a size 12. This acrylic is from a local beauty store, so my first bead is placed a little top side, the middle of the nail, and then my last bead is placed close to the cuticle. And as I go along, I'm, I'm gonna use my brush and shape it up. So in the filing process, I do not have a lot of filing to do. I always make sure not to flood my cuticle because flooding the cuticle and not filing it down can also cause lifting. And if you flood the cuticle too much, you can also cut your clamp when filing it down. 
so this is how i do my refill guys i'll take down some of the old acrylic first and go over it with a new acrylic this is only for short set for the long set i do refill in a different manner but this is how i do my thing guys so stay tuned So I am at the filing process. If you do not thread your cuticle, you won't have a lot of filing to do. And in this case, I did not flood my cuticle, so I have less filing to do at the cuticle. My bead was not placed exactly at the cuticle, but close to it. So I'm using a fine coarse sanding, sanding band, and not sanding band, a fine coarse stick, guys, I'm sorry. And then also I'm going to use that same bit to take on a little bit of the acrylic. So just trust the process as we go along. When I'm doing my set, I always love to use my hand file. My hand file give it the shape that the drill will not give it, so I always love to use my hand file. So now I am shaping it up to the client's view and to my view as well. You will see where at some point I will be turning the finger and shaping it to the client's view. Sometimes the client see things that 
C shapes of the nail that you won't see so it's always best to turn it to the client view and shape it so here I am shaping it up after I shape it up I'm gonna go ahead and clean under the nails because we don't want any dirty nails so we have to clean under there some nail techs do not clean under their client's fingernail you have to clean under your client's fingernail because if you do not do so this there will be a lot of dirt under there after i did that i'm gonna go in with my sanding band for the, for the final touch up to take off any excess roughage off it and after that followed by my buffing block to remove some of the roughage as well I'm gonna let the client wash their hands and they wash their hands and come back so now I am applying my top coat as I said before I will be only doing a little 3d design I will not be applying any polish to this set so here I am I apply top coat to the first hand put it in the dryer to dry Oh, before I do that, whenever I apply my top coat, I always stay my hat tone and clean around the edge so it is properly flushed in the cuticle. And then I'm gonna go in with my finger and pinch it. That the reason why I pinch it is because if there's any flooded top coat that makes this nail out of shape, doing that will get it back into shape. So I'm using my rhinestone glue and I'm Put a little bit at the side and then I'm gonna put my rhinestone, my gems as some people would call it. After that, I'm gonna go in with a brush that I found in my drawer. Not exactly the proper, the right tool to use for this set, but I found it and I make use of it. So I'm gonna apply my first bead. I make sure it's a little bit wet because if it's too dry, it's not gonna work properly uh, my hand my hand was in the camera view so I had to do that off camera so now I'm just playing some little small beads and like a pedal and just use my brush and work them in so this is for this hand and I'm also gonna do the same thing for the hand for the other hand as I said before guys, if you haven't subscribed, I'm asking you please to subscribe. Please to turn on your post notifications so you will be updated when there is a new video. I try to drop a new video like every two weeks or once a week when I find the time to guys. So please turn on your post notification. Please share, please subscribe. And tell a friend to tell a friend and leave a comment. Until next time, thank you for watching. Bye.